Good morning. It is Thursday, November 2, 2017. We're pleased to bring you today's edition of the local news. Welcome in the news. Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries and the Coast Guard will work together with fishermen to protect small-scale fishery. Small cattle breeders want more support from ministry. European Union supports development of agricultural sector. And palliative care should be included in basic health insurance. I'm Dakota Simpson Marshall. This is the local news. The Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, LVV, and the Coast Guard will work together with the fishermen on protecting the community fishery. On Wednesday, this group, led by the Fishermen Collective, submitted a petition to Minister Shirish Algo. It is their intention to ask for attention to the problems of the fishing industry. Minister Suresh Algo received and heard the group in the presence of his staff, the director of the Coast Guard, Colonel Jerry Slainhard, Ivan Granghust, member of the Licensing Commission, and the Fishermen Collective Board. During the meeting, they discussed the approach to the licensing policy. The main problem is the illegal fishing activities where other fishing zones are being fished. This has a major impact on fishing stocks with all its consequences. The Ministry of LVV and the Coast Guard will work together to undertake hard actions to address this illiquidity. Small-scale cattle farmers in Suriname want more support from the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries in order to increase production within the sector. The president of the organization, Robbie Garage, says that the goal is to reduce the price of locally produced beef and lamb by 50%. From LVV, support is expected in introducing new gradients. Or cattle and sheep need more time to complete their weight, says Robbie Garaj. The horse grass that is used does not have enough in nutritional value. Garaj is engaged in the breeding of a new sheep species that within 18 months will already reach a weight of 180 kilograms. The foundation also wants the ministry to contribute to the import of new cattle and sheep. Gararaj used modern techniques to feed his sheep in order to achieve a higher return. Here too, the ministry of LVV could respond according to him. In July 2014, the Surinamese government agreed with the European Union to take on the further development of the agricultural sector. The Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock and Fisheries, LVV, that is responsible for this, indicated that two issues have priority. The decision to approve the project is as a result of encouraging companies in the agricultural sector. In addition to the attention to the processing company, companies in the agricultural sector, the project is also working on setting up laboratory facilities. The funding for this project is a grant of 12.8 million euros from the 11th European Development Fund. This project is carried out with the cooperation of the Food and Agriculture or Organization. Palliative care should be included in the basic package of health insurance companies. This is a wish of Charlene Warmer, manager of Hospice The Horizon. This organization wants to give this care to clients in the final stage of life a legal status. Palliative care or terminal care is medical care aimed at easing or relieving pain or discomfort in the final phase of life. It is usually used for people who are incurably ill and in an advanced stage of their disease. Hospice Derizon is an institution that provides such care professionally. 
Often, these, service, these services are expensive. In order to make this care process accessible to all, legislation is required. Yesterday, the delivery of a terrace for this building took place. This was a donation from the Statsoli Foundation. That brings us to the end of local news for today. Join us again tomorrow, same time, same station for more. Have a blessed day.